sit to take yes, no more, no more. No that you think one without me. All the love, more activity. You love me. You love me. You love me. And they're probably at this time here. From all the best of their dreams, they're not here. I'm not here. Bro, she gets up there, can't survive on me. Never mind, hey, love, I'm not being cheap. Give me you take that the game you see. Life is a test, no man can judge me. While it's a bar, help the world you see. Sing us some juice, got them making me. Yo, tell a fist, see it fucks with me. Mess can grow more activity. I mean, this is always, this is this is this is bring. I set you up. I informed on you, David. Why? Because you ruined my career. You ruined my life when you caught me out to be some black activist. I ain't cop out on you. I ain't owe you anything. Shit, you sued me in court and won your money. How much more do you want? Don't answer. Fuck you, David. David's your name, not Dahu or whatever you want it to be. You're the same. You got a new hustle and I know it. You can't break me, devil. What do you want me? To lose all these blessings Josh's giving me? You're fighting a losing battle, Menace. Your girl Fatima don't care about this books and speeches or that youth empowerment movement shit. Fatima's been hustling tricks. You can come on this and menace. What'd you call me here for this bullshit? Do you want war? At this moment, the government agents are at your door. I turned in all your IRS documents you owe money for when I managed it. So, who's gonna turn up missing now, huh, David? I was on my way out of this joint anyway. On my way out of Babylon. David changed his identity, cut his dreadlocks, and moved to Africa. Then he moved to Haiti where he wrote his book on the revolution of the modern man for, from a black man's perspective. In this book, he made an important point which he made famous in his last speech he gave in Haiti. Hear him speak in his famous words now. People learn and change. They get paradigm shifts and things change. Circumstances change just when people's minds get their understanding. For example, just when someone gets used to a place or a situation, they have been striving to escape or not to take part in, or get comfortable with or adapt to it, just when we get that happy state, it seems, that's when things change. We either have to leave or whatever it is we've gotten to be happy with changes or goes away, as if it's always just a test and we graduate. But we're demoted. Lesson was learned. Now we have to go to the next cycle. I believe just when those rich and powerful but evil will repent and those poor and anything in between get in harmony and live in love with one another, when this becomes a worldwide aspiration and way of life, then that's when this world's wicked leaders will use their nuclear weapons of mass destruction and we won't be able to enjoy our peace we work so hard for as one human race. That time is coming soon, and I can feel it. I sense the irony already. After this came the nuclear war. Dahua Sudo was all over the news as the threat of nuclear war actualized. He didn't start a revolution, but he foretold of the revolutionary changes the world would have to face, proving that if a person changes for the better, one person could change society, and even the world. Thank you. You have participated in a multi-sensory medium experience. I am Carson Systems Program Station Number 5. Goodbye. Now you're that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.